All right, campers, here we go. We got the bed coming off big blue here. I um, was having some troubles with my phone recording this, but hopefully we got it fixed now. So basically, little synapses, got the bumper off, got the tailgate off, got all the rear lights out. Snake the harness is down, the harness goes to the frame, so you really just gotta get it disconnected out of here. There's a little push pin that goes in there. So you get that out of there, snake it down. You can see one hanging there. The other one's hanging over there near the hitch. So basically, I pulled the bumper, it's junk. You could leave the bumper on. You don't have to take the bumper off, but that thing's no bueno, that's coming off. Strip the bumper, pull the tailgate, pull the lights. There's a little license plate bracket. You just disconnect the two wires, little connectors, pull the bracket off. Then after that, as far as outside, the only other thing, you got your filler neck. I stole the gas door off of here because the gas door, the bed I got doesn't have one. The one I got's not rotted. And you got this though, that's rotted. The whole bed's rotted, but anyway. So basically, get underneath there and you're gonna have, I think it's, Eight. You're gonna have eight total bed bolts. This is what they look like. Well, I'll grab this one because this one's got thread locker on it. So you got the thread locker. You can see we're you know we're in the rust belt here. So this is like one of the better looking bolts to be honest with you. So what I did to get these out, I've done Fords, pulled a few beds off Fords. Fords are different. Fords have a carriage bolt, which is a bolt with a rounded head and a square. On the bottom of the head there Ford sit through the top of the bed that square in the bolt goes into a square in the bed and what it's supposed to do is keep it from spinning when you take it off the bottom in theory it's great but in actuality they spin inside the bed so what you do with a Ford is you go to the carriage bolt you grind down the edges get a little paint off the bed make the bolt nice and shiny take your little MIG welder and you zap like Three good dots, you know, decent welds. Then get underneath there, and from this area, you always need a torch. You tee up the nut and you zap them right off. The dodges are different. The dodges have the nut cert through the bottom of the bed. So this nut, or this bolt, I should say, goes through the bottom of the frame into the bed itself. So what I did is I just got under there with my trusty hot wrench, it's oxyacetylene, and I heated the head of this bolt that this baby was cherry. She was hot. Heated the bolt, and then I got my easy out, one of my easy outs. It basically just goes over this, you know, mangled head of a bolt, and it, you know, has teeth that grip into it. And first couple, I used a ratchet and wrench to crack them loose, and I couldn't believe how easy they, they spun once they were hot. So then after that, after the first two, I started using my 3 8 air gun with an extension. Um, these are like really easy to get to because the four in the front, two on each side behind the cab, they're wide open. And the other one's going down the frame, either mid frame or towards the hitch. They actually have a hole through the frame. So you go straight up. It was actually a smart idea to do that so you don't have to fight. And they all came out, every single one of them, except for one. One actually started to come out, and it came out a good amount. I was heating it. It got pretty hot. I hit it with the gun. It came out, and it was sticking out, you know, about a quarter inch. And then I heated it some more, and it was kind of the easy out was spinning on the head. And I said, screw it. And I just, I had the torch already rocking, so I just cut the head off. So I won. I cut the head off. I probably won't even reuse these, but I don't know. For some reason, I wanted to get them out in one piece. So I got them out. Boom. So now, uh, basically, got the bumper off, tail lights out. We got the spare tire down. There's a little rod that connects to the spare tire winch. It's right there. Got that out. Just a little clip that holds it in. The spare tire actually came down. I couldn't believe the winch actually worked. I figured I was going to cut the cable to drop it. And then uh, you got your filler neck. Like I said, I took the cover off. And I got the lift set up. Now, this bed is garbage. If this bed was being kept... I probably wouldn't lift it like this because there's no way it's not going to, it's going to flex. You're going to end up denting this because the, the bed's heavy. This is kind of weak. I mean, there's like a little pinch rail at the bottom where the lift is sitting, but you can see it's already, it's bending it up. So obviously if I was saving this bed, 
I would probably just get a couple of my buddies and I'd have to wait. And, or you could do it a couple different ways. You could try getting some wood underneath that weld or that pinch rail, if you want to call it that. You could get a long piece of wood and hopefully if you're supporting it with the wood flat, you're kind of taking your pressure or instead of doing a pressure point like this is doing right now, which this bed was already dented, but anyway, you wouldn't be pinching it up. It would lift it more evenly and kind of spread the force out over an even area. But this bed is, is garbage. It's literally, there might be a couple things I cut off of it for the other bed I got, and we'll go over that in the future. But this bed is basically, uh, she bound for the scrapyard. That's where she's going. So, I mean, obviously, like I said before, I'm gonna take the caps, gonna take the tonneau cover, gonna take that crap off. Probably pull the bed liner out, probably reuse it or just do a spray on in the new bed, one or the other. But anyway, here she is. I couldn't do the video taking the bolts out. I couldn't do the torch, do the camera. I just couldn't do it. But once I get it up in the air, I'll do another video and I'll just visually show you basically what I just told you. But I gotta say, I pulled quite a few beds off with trucks and this is one of the easier ones that I've actually, uh, it's one of the easier ones that I've actually done, believe it or not. It's been about an hour and a half, couple hours since I started. And uh, as you can see, she's coming up. There is also, and it's not like the end of the world if you, if you don't end up getting it, but I noticed it in the front over here, there's a ground strap. Looks like it's coming from the frame to the bed. Just a 10 millimeter like self tapper they send through it. You take that out. If you lifted it and you missed it and you snapped it, it's a freaking ground strap. I doubt it's really doing anything anyway. Those are mainly on the bodies for uh, grounding. It's not a real ground for an electrical component, that ground. It's just a strap that goes from the body to the frame. If I'm not mistaken, they're more for like frequency going through. So if you're listening to the radio, you're not getting electrical frequency coming through the cab, interfering with things. Those are basically what those are for. It's like a braided little wire. If you were to snap it, if you never fixed it, you probably would never even know it was broken. Or if you're real particular and you snap it, you missed it, oh well, you can get a wire and you can put two eyelets on a wire and you can just make the same thing, do exactly the same thing. So uh, yeah, we're gonna bring this baby up. I got the truck in neutral. So I started bringing it up and then I kind of rolled it forward just a slight bit so the bed's not near the cab, the cab, the back window. We don't want to damage any of that. Obviously we want that nice, you know, cause this baby's, this baby's real sweet. So uh, we're gonna get it up in the air, then I'll roll the truck forward, and then I got like a cart. I'm gonna go, I gotta go get it, bring it in here, and I'll get this bed on the cart. I really gotta flip the bed. Technically, I gotta flip it upside down to maybe use some pieces off of it for the other bed, which I'll do a video on that. I'll show you guys, or I'll you know record it, and I'll splice it all together so this is all one uniform video. But basically, get this bed off, get it out of the way. I already got a good look at the frame. I know what the frame looks like. It's not pretty, but it ain't that bad. I've seen a lot worse. So I'm thinking we're going to blast that down, either wire wheel it or sandblast it, whichever is going to lend itself to be a little bit. Sandblasting is obviously the best, but like I said, it's a work truck, big blue here. She's going to be working. We're probably might just wire wheel it down, get the scale off, get it loosened up and then just pour 15 it or rust encapsulator, whatever you want to do. Um, in the past, I've done like flat Rust-Oleum and it'll last, but it doesn't last great. The port 15 lasts better, but that stuff's not even foolproof either. I've seen rust come back up through port 15. It helps, it'll help, but it ain't the end all to be all. The best way to do it is really blast it. And then I've seen some people that use like what they call like, it's like bridge paint. It's like paint that they use underneath bridges. I actually have a truck that that was supposedly done to that the frame was blasted and that paint was used. Maybe I'll try to show you some pictures or video of what that frame looks like. It looks mint. But basically the best way if I can, I'll blast it down. Just get all the heavy stuff off, get it cleaned up. Either a good coat of pour 15 or some chassis saver or something just to cover it. It's not gonna keep it mint. It's not a show truck. We're not we're not going to Barrett Jackson with this with this baby here. This thing's gonna be working. It's gonna be you know, rolling coal, hauling scrap metal, beating around town. 
Maybe throw the doggies in there. You know, that's what it's going to be. So don't got to be pretty, but if the bed's off, you know, it'd be crazy not to spend the time to clean the frame up and make it nice. So just want to go over that and we'll, uh, we'll keep trucking.